Today is another top 5 Wednesday video, but with a twist. So I didn't like the topic for this week because it was my top 5 schools I wanted to attend. And there's only one, there's only Hogwarts. So I chose between the past topics and I chose one from January, which I've done on my blog in Portuguese, but I haven't done in this in this channel yet that I really wanted to do, and that is my top five authors. So I'm gonna do my top five authors and I hope you like it. Let's do it. My number five is a, a tie. I, I really love ties. That's the thing is, there's a new author and there's an author that I really like but is not like an amazing writer. So I'm just gonna explain. I really one of them is John Green. I really love John Green. The two I've read is The Fault in Our Stars, obviously, and Looking for Alaska. I absolutely love Looking for Alaska. And The Fault in Our Stars is really beautiful, really moving. The movie made me love the book even more. So that's that. And I own all of his books and I want to read them all right now. So that being said, John Green is one of my favorite is in my number five with another author which has almost nothing to do with him and that is Jill Mansell. Jill Mansell, I think that's how you pronounce her name, is a British author and she writes Chiclet and my two favorites are these two which are The One You Really Want and Thinking of You. These two are the ones that really stick to my mind in terms of cover and uh, the first one I read was um, and the one you really want was the first one I read and I loved it so much. That's why I keep reading Jo Mansell. And she never disappoints. It's a fantastic summer read. It's contemporary, it's chiclet. In all its glory. And I love it. So yeah, that's my number five. A tie between these two. And please don't hate me for putting John Green in number five. Because there's pretty good names for me in the rest. So let's go. My number four is my favorite... Uh, international historical fiction romance uh, author and that is Philippa Gregory. Philippa Gregory wrote The White Queen. Uh, the, this is a, a series called uh, The Cousins War. You know just by having a genealogical tree you know it's gonna be tricky. I really love her novels. This one I read in English was one of the first books I read in English. It's all an you know, uh, written down the words that I had to look in the dictionary. I had to walk with this and the dictionary with me all the time. And I read it in the bus, everywhere. It's all beaten up, but I love this book. I love the miniseries. It's a pity that they cancelled. And the other book I really loved, the one I discovered, Philippa Gallery, uh, was through uh, The Other Bullying Girl. In I have the movie cover. It was given to me by a friend. This is a, like the biggest book. I own by her. It's ginormous. In Portugal, it's 638 words. But yeah, it's totally worth it. It's amazing. I love, I love her stories, and I love they are women-based because it's just the world needs more uh, women-based uh, historical novels. So that's my number four. My number three, and going in the line of Philippa Gregory, is my favorite Portuguese. A historical novel writer and that is Isabel Stilwell. Isabel Stilwell writes about Portuguese women that are important in our history but also in the world. She wrote first Philip of Lancaster which was the only English princess that married a Portuguese king and became Queen of Portugal and it's amazing. We her fans uh, find that this is our favorite. Most of us agree in this because it's just so lovely and she do it so from heart. She do it completely from her heart. She dedicated this book to her mother, which is also English. It's a beautiful, beautiful story, and I love it so. The second one is Catherine de Bergança, or Catherine of Bergança. And you might know her if you are familiar with English history. She was the wife of Charles II, and she brought tea to England. So it's an amazing story, and this was the only Portuguese princess to marry a British king. So it's cool, it's really cool. And this one, is just as lovely as the, the last one, a uh, slightly sadder. <laughs> so now we go to for my number two, and my number two is the author that I own all of her books. It's kind of a thing in this top, but 
I own all of her books. Uh, I think there's two missing, but she, she writes a lot. She writes like every two years. But I own almost all of her books. And it's Isabel Allende. Isabel Allende is a Chilean writer. And she wrote uh, The House of the Spirit. Uh, it was her first novel and it was adapted to movie with Meryl Streep and close Jeremy Irons. And it was shoot in Portugal, which is also interesting. But the story is beautiful. This is a South American author and therefore there's a lot of magical realism in it. But it's lovely. And the way I found this author was by reading her only a young adult trilogy and that the f in which her first book is the city of the beasts uh, and it's amazing this one is actually set in brazil but the main character is uh it's a boy called alex alexander and he's american and he goes with his granny uh from the international geography team <laughs> but yeah it's it's great this one is set in brazil the next one is set in nepal you know around Everest and the third one I believe is in Africa but yeah it's the only YA when no one talked about YA because I was like eight years old when I read this one I just I love it so much and she's one of my favorite guys for sure it's it's not my f favorite author because there's another favorite author that I'm gonna talk about right now and that is Jane Austen. I, I, I usually say Isabel Allende is my favorite living author and um, Jane Austen is my favorite dead author but that just sounds creepy when you say dead author but she's. But I love Jane Austen. I, I discover her through Pride and Prejudice with a funny funny story because this is a free book. It came with a magazine. It was sitting in my dad's study. No one ever touched it and one day during my summer vacation I just picked it up and stayed up until 5 a.m. finishing it and I loved it so much and then I watched the movie 300 times and I'm on my way reading the others Sense and Sensibility also a lovely 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 story I do prefer the 2008 BBC adaptation but Emma Thompson is always great and this is my favorite adaptation sorry BBC Puritans but Kate Knightley and Matthew McFadden make my heart so warm. It's beautiful. So yeah, I really love Jane Austen. I love... I've watched all the adaptations. I just haven't read the books. So I know I love the stories. I love Brennan Prejudice the most. And then Persuasion. Persuasion is, I believe, my second favorite. The cover is over there, but I don't want to show it to you. Because it's, it's, it's not pretty. It's also another free book. <laughs> It's just kind of makes the story even more special because I haven't paid to discover Jane Austen. Jane Austen came to me like in a magical way. I, really, I, I It was meant to be. I was meant to find Jane Austen in love, in lover and lover stories and I love so much. So this is my top five. I hope you like this video. You can like it and subscribe down below. Also, all my media links, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter are also in the description below. I hope you like this video and I will see you soon with another one. Bye guys!